Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Senior Spotlight. This time we go to the softball field for Julianne Grapel Senior Spotlight. And Julianne, two-year member for the John Jay softball team. And unfortunately, in pandemic times, that counts as uh, a full career for John Jay. But we were just talking before this. So the plan for you after graduation is to pursue your master's. And there could be some potential eligibility there for you to play in softball. Um, I'd love to know what your plans are in more detail, but also what John Jay softball program has meant to you. Yeah, so the program has been great. Like I've met so many great people, like not even just in the softball team, like it's just been an amazing opportunity and it's taught me a lot about like um, making connections with other people. And after John Jay, I'm hoping of getting my master's um, and then maybe working in a hospital, hopefully finding an internship somewhere closer to home. Yeah. So let's talk about that freshman year for you because named a CUNYAC All-Star, becoming the team's ace, 18 hits, leading the way with 17 walks and knows for getting on base and stealing bases. How much of an onus did you put on yourself to perform in your first year moving up to college softball? Um, Wow, first year feels like so long ago. Um, it was it was intense because I felt that I had a lot on my shoulders being a freshman, being a pitcher, like coming in and like proving myself and hopefully like um, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, working as hard as like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, Julianne, I think there was a lot of competition too amongst the team as well how much did you guys push each other uh day to day um very hard uh there was days where coach would have us like running like and timed runs from like first to uh home to first and everything else and we would always try and get like that highest time and just it was super competitive like whoever can do the most push-ups like it, it was it, it was great <laughs> was there one event that you were superior in than the rest of your teammates? Running. Running, definitely. I, I've always loved running and, like, being the really fast. It, yeah. Well, that leads to my next point, too. I got a note here that says you're involved in a crazy workout program during the, uh, the quarantine. <laughs> so what, what is this in more detail? So it's called the 75 hard challenge. I did it um, three months before Thanksgiving so that Thanksgiving I could just pig out and eat everything. But it was, it was an intense, it was an intense workout where I had to work out twice a day, stick to a diet, drink a gallon of water a day. Yeah, it, it, was, it was great. I loved it. I would recommend it. <laughs> and got all the results. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because I felt that I wasn't doing anything during the pandemic, and then I found on the internet like, oh, this challenge, and it it was, it gave me something to do. That's a good way to look at it. I'd yeah. imagine though that during the challenge, you were not allowed to eat any bread or carbs. And another note that I have here is, Coach Aaron says that you make a pretty mean bagel. I do. <laughs> I work in a bagel store at my hometown, so like being around all those bagels was just, it was, it was tough. <laughs> what is, what is the Julianne Grapel signature bagel? Ooh, probably, we make these really good pretzel bagels. Pretzel bagel with cream cheese, toasted, oh, so good. <laughs> all right, well now I'm getting hungry. Julianne, <laughs> it was a pleasure watching you play. Hopefully we get to see you in the future, but much, much success and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you.